Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Thailand and today we are going to, we're driving to Ayutthaya because there's this one restaurant that serves Okay, I'll tell you the full story later. But anyways, we went to this restaurant years ago when we were filming for a different program. And he, it's this amazing uncle who serves what I remember is the best Tom Yum Kung. Uh, tom Yum soup with shrimp that I have ever had in my life. And I've been waiting, it's been years since I've had a ch I haven't had a chance to go back. Finally today is that day, so we're gonna go, we're gonna drive. It's in the province of Ayutthaya and we're gonna go seek it out. Uh, we actually called him ahead, so he is open. We confirmed we're going there. Uh, but yeah, his Tom Yum Kung is just unbelievably delicious. Maybe the best I've ever had and we're gonna go eat it right now along with some other big shrimp as well. We made it. Welcome to Ampa Sena. The town is called, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty, I mean, it's not that big of a town, but it's called Sena, which is in the province of Ayutthaya, not too far away from Ayutthaya town uh, in central Thailand. It is blazing hot. The sun is so strong. Uh, we parked at the bus station because there's no parking at the restaurant because the restaurant is located down an alley in the old historical part of town in the marketplace. So you have to park. So I think the closest parking is the bus station at least and then walk into the to the small alleys to the marketplace to get to the restaurant. Okay, so come down this kind of alley area. Oh. Oh yeah, okay. This is just kind of a shortcut through to the riverside. You pop out here, you're next to the river. Okay, yeah, this is the place. I remember now. Oh, it's been so long, but the memory is still so fresh. Oh, that's the restaurant, right, Ying? Huh? I got So excited to be here. This is exactly, I don't think anything has changed in the last four or five years since I've been here last time, but I don't think anything's changed in the last like 30, maybe 40 years. I'm not even totally sure how old it is, but it's just this style, the turquoise paint, the, the wood panels. It's such a beautiful restaurant. I mean, the entire restaurant is a museum in and of itself. And I love how it's down a no driving street, just motorbikes, so it's quiet, it's peaceful. We're right next to the river. Oh man, this is, this is a historical, this is a legendary restaurant. We're just looking at the menu, trying to decide what to order, but Ying is ordering. Well, the one thing we have to order is the Tom Yum Kung, and he only uses the big, pretty good size four to the kilo, four shrimp, freshwater shrimp to the kilo. Uh, but we're also gonna get Kung Pao, which are just roasted shrimp, and then Ying order just some other dishes that are known here. Yeah, fish, ah, Thod Man, how do I come? Thod Man, maybe Pla Menam, Thod. Yeah, Thod Man, Pla Kai. Thai, 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 and it is C to a low. Okay. He just grabbed some of the shrimp. I mean, they're common in Thailand, especially central Thailand. I mean, not that that common, they're special, but they just never get old. They are always incredible, but he is, he grabbed some, he's now just trimming them up.
I'm just sweating in the kitchen, but they're working so fast. After slicing the shrimp in half, uh, we got gung pao, so those are just roasted shrimp. You put them under the charcoal, just about five minutes, and they only grill them on the shell side, leaving that head side up, and then you can see just as that tamale, that just like, it starts to melt with the heat and put the cover on, um, and then uncle is also frying up some kadman bakrai, which are uh, fish cakes deep fried. It smells incredible, and I think the last, the final thing that he's gonna make is that tom yum gung, uh, because you want that hot and fresh and served in a mafai, which is a fire pot. I need a ไส้กวนไส้กวนโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ
uh, some herbs, I think coriander, as well as sawtooth coriander, um, and then lime juice and dry chili flakes. Put that into the fire pot. Uh, so that's the part that doesn't get cooked. That only gets cooked from the hot soup. You don't want to boil that because if you like, for instance, the lime juice or the herbs, if you boil it for too long, it will lose its flavor. So after that, uh, then they com he combines the two, adds all the soup together to the fire pot, um, and then they added a bit more fish sauce, a bit of more lime juice to, to taste, and a little more coriander on top for flavor. That, the, I mean, it's simple, yet methodical. Everything is in a step perfect. Uh, Uncle has been making it for many, many years and just perfected his own recipe. Oh. oh. I'm always excited to eat tom yum gung, but this is like another level, another level of excitement. Thai tom yum soup. It's such an interesting dish because it's such a, it dates, it's such an ancient dish, but there's modern variations and it's been adapted to different locations, to different places, to different, uh, like entire generations. But there's so many different recipes. And this is not only possibly uncle's own recipe, but the one that he's developed for this region in this area. He was already mentioning that this area used to be the shrimp, the freshwater shrimp used to be so plentiful that like it was an everyday occurrence. Um, now they are a specialty, they are a delicacy, they are expensive. But he said like years ago it was it was extremely common. Kapun kap. And we also got some mixed vegetables. But anyways, Tom Yum Kung, it has a lot of history, so many variations and so many amazing variations. And this one though, oh man, it's amazing. I love that he uses the lotus stems, which is is not very common to see. And then you can just see the, the tomoe head butter fat just floating around on the top of it. Okay, we gotta try it. Let's just navigate this tom yum just so we can see the ingredients first. You've got the shrimp, you've got the heads. He de-shelled it. These are the saibua, the lotus stems. There's a lot of coriander in here. I think there's sawtooth herb, there's shallots. Oh, he added shallots too. The lemongrass, the chilies, and then all of those little floating little nuggets is all that goodness. Okay, from the head of the shrimp, I'm gonna just try that broth first. Look at that broth. That is precious. Normally I wouldn't eat directly out of the fire pot, but it's just Ying and I, we're, we're family. We're eating together. I'm just going right for the pot. Oh, wow. Yes. Yes. This still is my favorite tom yum kung in the world, I think. In the world, in Thailand, in the world. It's so perfect. Like, it's salty, it's sour, it's rich, but not overly rich. Not like crazy rich, but rich from the shrimp. You taste the lemongrass, the the capper lime leaves, and then it has that herbaceousness from the sawtooth coriander and the coriander. It is so good. Okay, next bite has to be the, the saibua, the lotus stems. And I'm gonna get down there to the, some of that dry chili too. That is a heavenly broth. Like, there's no other way to describe it. It is so good. Those lotus stems, they're amazing too because they absorb up the broth. Um, they're crisp, they're like sponges of tom yum. Okay, and then the next bite has to be shrimp, just shellless, shellless nuggets of shrimp. I think one of the keys is not only balancing all the ingredients and the herbs, but also the different stages of cooking and the amount of cooking because the shrimp go in at a certain time uh, even, for instance, the lime juice doesn't even get cooked. It's just added to the pot um, and gets cooked enough with the addition of the hot broth. Same goes for the, the coriander. So it's really knowing the steps. I mean, starting with good quality ingredients, but knowing the steps. Okay, I'm gonna try one of the, the Todman black rai. Black rai is the, it's, I think it's knife fish in English, uh, but they take the, they debone the fish, uh, mix it sometimes with curry paste and with spices and then pound it up until uh, it turns spongy. It's just pure fish, but with spices and then until it becomes spongy. Um, you can also smell, you can see the kaffir lime leaves as well as a little bit of shaved long beans in here. And which sauce do you eat with this? Oh, the sweet one, right? Oh yeah, it's usually served with a sweet sauce, but I often prefer it with the seafood sauce, but I'll, I'll try it with the the original sauce first. Mm. It's really 
so good, yeah? Mm. Oh wow, it's so good. The, the sauce, yeah. I'm not huge on the sauce. I don't really like the sauce because that's just kind of like a sweet, sweet, like barely chili sauce. But the Todman Black Rai, it's so spongy. You taste the red chili, like the dry chili in there. Um, you taste the capital lime leaves and you have that just slight crunch which breaks up the texture from the sponginess from the long beans. No sauce on my next bite. Yeah, I just prefer the pure thing. Oh, and that's incredible. <laughs> you can just tell when it's just pure fish, when it's fresh, when it's, mm, when it's the right texture. And now it is time for the gung pao, which are just the roasted shrimp. Um, I'll take this guy right here. Set this onto my plate. Oh man, look at that. That butter. Oh. And what I like to do is take a little bit of the meat, kind of scoot that out, and then mix it with, oh, you can see how it's not overcooked. It looks so juicy, so, so succulent. And then mix it with a, a portion of that tamale butter. Oh, that is as good as a single bite can get. And first bite, no sauce, just, just the pure. There's nothing added to it. Oh wow, like you have that slight bitterness from the tamale, but then the shrimp is so fresh, it's muscular, it's so sweet. Maybe I'll add some of the chili sauce to this next and just kind of like hold it into that trough. Maybe a little more, a little more chilies on there. And then just fully deshell it. With all of that head butter. I think this is a, a one, one biter with what remains. Put all of that on top. Oh yes. Oh look at that bite. Unbelievable. The richness. You don't want to eat them too often because they're so special. They're such a delicacy. They're so rich. Um, but every now and then, they're a real treat. They're incredible. And then chase that with some of the tum yum. Oh, you know what? Like, I think what really impresses me about the tum yum kung here is you can really taste the herbal factor of it. He adds in a lot of lemongrass, a lot of uh, galango. You can really taste the galango in there that's been simmered down. Like all the flavors are pronounced. This is like one of the most pure tasting Tom Yum Gungs that I've ever had, ever had anywhere. It's like a really a roots, like a, it tastes ancient and yet all the flavors are there. All the flavors are distinct and it's so herbal. And I think that's what I love about it so much. And the richness only relies, I mean, he relies on the freshwater shrimp locally sourced for the richness, for the thickening, for the for the flavor of this Tom Yum Kung. Now that I've tasted everything pure, I'm gonna try some rice. And got the pure flavor of everything, I'm gonna try some rice. And I think what I'm gonna do, because there's so much chunks in there, so there's so many chunks of shrimp, I'm gonna add that over my rice. Dry chilies down there. And then maybe add a little picnic lame. Add a little bit of chilies and fish sauce on there. This is just for that extra punch of spice and flavor from the fish sauce. And follow that, taste that with more soup. Oh, wow. That is, that is an icon that is legendary Tom Yum Kung in Thailand. Wow, I don't think I can get over it. It's too good. Like he, he has perfected Tom Yum Kung. Like there's nothing that could be better about it. And we also got some mixed vegetables. He added in some snow peas, some baby corn, and some cauliflower in here. Mm. That's good too. Just simple, just stir fried vegetables. Oh yeah, one more ingredient as I'm digging through the bottom of the, the Tom Yum. I forgot to, to mention to you that he also added that pakshi, which are the stems, the roots, the root stems of coriander, uh, which is not, you don't always see that in Tom Yum either, so. That's another, well, I'm just like, 
the broth is flowing. Oh, my mouth juices are flowing. But that's another reason why it's so herbal, so herbaceous. I have an idea for a bite. It's gonna be a one-biter, but like, just uh, an out of control one biter. Okay, so take the take the body of the shrimp, and you can kind of get this all out in one in one piece. They're not gigantic shrimp, so this is gonna, definitely going to be possible as a one biter, necessary as a one biter. Okay, next what we're going to do is scoop in for the the head. All of that. You don't want any of it to go. You want it all. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is stick this right on top of the body. Oh, it's like butter. It's like melted butter. Oh, no, I lost some. Oh, I, I made a foul. Okay, that will be for next bite anyways, but okay, I'll, I'll take a little bit of him then. Oh man, my, my balancing skills, it just slid right off. Okay, there we go. A little bit of shell on there, take that off. Then take some of the chili sauce, and on top of on top of that. Okay. Okay, to the mouth, fast. That's just, it's just a life-changing moment. It's so good. Mm. And then follow that. And that completes like some of the greatest flavors and ingredients of Central Thailand of Central Thai cuisine. Oh man, this place is amazing. I love this restaurant. I love Uncle. Kapun ma kapun. Oh man, just again, just blown away by the food, by the tom yum kung. I just cannot even believe it, it's so good. And I'm not even sure if I mentioned it earlier before, but the restaurant is called Jung Borigan. And Uncle, he is a legend. He is, he is truly a Thai culinary treasure. He's an amazing man. And his tom yum kung, it, it's a life-changing tom yum kung. It's just absolutely sensational and his style, his method, his pureness, his use of the ingredients. It's unbelievable, a historical gem. It's a treasure of Thai food. I can't remember exactly, but it had to be at least four or five years ago when we came to Jumborigan, when we ate that Tom Yum Gung for the first time filming that program. But that has stuck in my head. It's been in my brain ever since as the best, I remember it as the best Tom Yum Gung that I've ever had. And up until, this day, I, I, I had always wanted to come back, but it's really not in a very convenient, it's kind of inconvenient to get here because you have to get to Ayutthaya and then another step to get to this small town. And so we never made it back until now. And now I've proven to myself that is, there's no doubt, there's no question in my mind that that is the best Tom Yum Kung that I've ever had. So that's it for this video. I wanna say a big thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon. That way you'll get immediately notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from the small town Sena in Ayutthaya and I will see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.